At Grace Cathedral, we've just um, collected and um, stuffed about 150 backpacks filled with school supplies for local students. We really want to make sure that every student has the chance to really be successful in school. But a lot of people, because this has been such a big project for us, a lot of people have been asking me what my advice is for students who are starting up the new, new term this, 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 this week or next week. And I thought a lot about it, and there are three things that I thought about in particular. The first is, you know, everybody hears about how important it is to be organized and how important it is to be prepared for everything that is going to happen in school. Um, and that's true for us spiritually also. We need to think about how we center ourselves, how we stay connected to God as we go back to school. I have a friend of mine who started college, and um, when she arrived in her college dorm room, she discovered that she was on the, on the top bunk of the bunk bed. I mean, her habit had been to pray by, by the side of her bed, and it just no longer felt comfortable in the same kind of way. And so what she decided to do was to explore a new prayer practice. And what she would do is she would put on headphones, and then every day before, on her way to her first class, she would pray. And people would see that she was wearing headphones, assume she was on the phone, and they wouldn't interrupt her. But there are new ways that you might be called, called to be in touch with God, to be connected to the transcendent. And I encourage you to find that and make, make sure that the spiritual part of it is, an, is, is central to going back to school. The second thing that's very important is that to realize that being in school, being in any situation where we're learning, um, we need to uh, learn new things by, by taking risks. Uh, we can't do everything that's going to be easy. Um, and sometimes the, the things that we're going to be asked to do are going to stretch us. They're going to be difficult for us. And, and sometimes that makes us a little worried. And the important thing to remember in that situation is that you have met challenges in the past. You've been able to do this in the past, and you just have to remember times in the past when you tried something new and you were successful at it. The last thing I wanted to say was, you know, everybody tells you to be organized. Everybody tells you to, um, to have confidence. Um, but I also want to invite you to be um, spontaneous, to try new things. I mean, part of what makes a school a powerful experience is because it offers us chances to do things that we may never have done before. I have two friends of mine who did this thing that they called uh, following the music. And they go to a college and they uh, decided that when they heard music that they really liked and they were together, um, they would listen for the music and they'd try to find where the music was coming from. And they'd go into the dorm room and then go up to the floor where they thought they, and then go to the door where they thought they heard the music. And then they would knock on the door and introduce themselves to the person who was playing that music. And they made many new friends in this way, but you don't have to do that exactly, but be open to new people who might um, be the way that God is transforming you. So they, even today, that, 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 th those two friends of mine, they say, let's go follow the music. And I encourage you as you start the new year at school that you too will follow the music. My name is Malcolm Clemens Young. I'm the Dean of Grace Cathedral in San Francisco, California. Thanks for watching, more good news.